for another video. Well, I mean, if you're really just listening to our molten sounding audio, which can't be a single word we're saying, just read our lips, I guess. Last week was district wrestling, and our Huskies, they made us proud. Not only representing Horizon, but, rest, but the wrestlers did great. So, the first week back to school from spring break, Seventh graders will be already enjoying our test. <gasps> so, a few things you should know is that you should sleep early. Because I know, I know, teachers, they say it. A lot of people say it. We don't like to do it. But, if you sleep early, you're going to do better on the test. Eat breakfast. Okay? Breakfast is the most important part of your day, so eat it. <coughs> and do not get stressed out, okay? Don't get stressed. Last week, we asked you guys to name this plant. And you guys did an amazing job, but the winner, drum roll please. <coughs> That's right, Milo. And now we, sh we already have given it its rightful name tag. So everybody, welcome Milo to the Horizon News family. So the friends of the week, I like I just said, hashtag smile always. Hey there Huskies, this is Assistant Principal Garcia bringing you this week's announcements. As I'm certain you're all aware, we are in that final week before spring break and it is the perfect time for us to talk about achievement. Y'all just received grades, midterm grades, parents got those as well, so you have a very clear picture of where you are this semester with your grades. So take that information and let's finish this week strong and gain some momentum academically as we prepare for our park assessments when we return from spring break. So, achieve at your highest level. Get yourself a this and start working. Well, I said you to the deeps. So now I'm all for it working. Then go to the deeps. You better get yourself off the table. Okay. Thank you. And keep, keep up the good work, okay? Good work. Safety reminders. Last week, Principal Bell spoke with you about our hallways, making certain that we're walking and taking care of each other in the hallways. I'd like to keep talking about our hallways. We've seen an increase in food in the hallways, trash in the hallways. We need to take care of that. Please remember, we don't have food or drink in the hallways. If you do see some trash on the floor, do the right thing, pick it up and throw it away. We want to make certain we're taking care of our building so that we are in the best place possible to learn. Remember, that's our focus. We learn, and we learn, and we learn. Let's move on to our upcoming events. It is AVID Spirit Week. Go AVID! On Monday, we have special days all week on Monday. Wear an AVID shirt or a black shirt to support AVID. Also, it's our first volleyball practice for young ladies in 7th and 8th grade. On Tuesday, it's college gear day, so wear your favorite college wear, and what a better time. It is March Madness. Go KU, Rock Chalk Jayhawk, had to throw that in. Also on Tuesday night, we have our accountability meeting for parents. That starts at 6 p.m. here at Horizon. Please encourage your parents to attend as we will be discussing our ACT Aspire results. Very important night for our parents. On Wednesday, to continue with our AVID Spirit Week, we have Advertise an Activity. So, all you soccer players, our band members, drama club, don your favorite shirt that shows your support for our activities. Also that evening we have our AVID open house 
from 6 to 7. Great time to learn about the AVID program and support our AVID program. Continuing on to Thursday, we have Dress for Success Career Day. So dress, um, dress in your favorite career wear and support AVID that way. On Friday, everyone's favorite day, Hat and PJ Day. A dollar for a hat, a dollar for PJs. That will support our AVID program and the Walk for Sudan. Please remember, no hoodies or those one-piece pajamas that have the hood. So, wear your favorite hat and PJs, a dollar for each one. One last item for Friday, because it is before our spring break, there will be no late buses, so no after-school activities on Friday. And last but not least, our Teacher of the Week. So, Miss Bell had you all guess last week. I'm going to do the same thing, but I think this one's going to be pretty easy to guess early on. This teacher teaches all grade levels, 6, 7, and 8. She has helped students produce some amazing theater performances. She is the leader of our choral leaders and has even directed students, um, student groups to sing at Rockies games. She started our district honor choir. She entertains our ears, teaches our minds, and leads with her heart. Our teacher of the week this week is Miss Fromm. Thank you so much, Ms. Fromm, for all the work you do for our Horizon family. That's it for me, Ms. Garcia, Assistant Principal. Have a great week, and let's finish this week strong. Go Huskies! Hello, I'm Mrs. Fromm, and I teach choir here at Horizon and theater arts. I've been here for many years, and I've also taught beginning band and guitar and rhythm and movement, which was a dance class. Um, one of the reasons I like teaching here at Horizon is the diversity uh, of students. There are so many different kinds of students. They come to my choir with all different sorts of backgrounds and ideas, and we get to work together as one and hopefully put on a meaningful performance. Same thing happens in theater arts, except hopefully the performance is funny, as it should be. Um, another reason I like working at here, here at Horizon are all of the adults. I have made lifelong friends working here, and they're just a, a, a whole lot of excellent people working. Now, something interesting that happened to me, I was teaching in my first year in Yuma, Arizona, uh, when I was 22 years old, and we were getting ready for our first concert, and it was in this, it looked like a like an alien spaceship had landed and that was the cafeteria. Well down there, someone a long time ago decided that they should bring cockroaches in to clean out the sewers, the pipes basically. And so they didn't realize that they breed and breed and there's millions of them and whatnot. So uh, they sprayed for cockroaches that morning without telling me we were having our rehearsal and out of the corner, I'm conducting, and out of the corner of my eyes I see all of these cockroaches, and they're not the little teeny guys, they're those big honkers. And they're running all around the floor, and I'm on the floor with my feet on the floor, the kids' are, feet are on the risers, lucky them, and they are running over my feet as I'm trying to conduct, because I told my kids, we are not stopping until like one of their arms falls off or something like that. So I actually made it through that. You couldn't, you couldn't step on them and kill them, because it was, you know, they're big, huge cockroaches. And also, they felt threatened if you got near them, and so when they felt threatened, they flew at you. So that's one of my <laughs> interesting uh, teacher stories. So that's about it, and thanks, bye.